Hey guys and welcome to the Hackanons YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to convert a string data type to a date time object. Well, have you been ever working with any possible code where you are manipulating with date or time in your programs? At that point, it would be more preferable to work with the date time object in the Python programming language other than using a simple string. The advantage is really simple. It helps us to organize our code proper and we can access the methods inside the object as easy and simple as possible. So we will see how to convert the string to a datetime object. So before that, I will first import the datetime module that is present in Python to work with any possible of date and time related data. So for that, I'll say from datetime import datetime. Now, first I'll create a date string. So I'll call it a date underscore str, str, just string. And the date will simply be, and I'll just write 4th March 2002. Okay. And now, first thing is I'll print the data type of the variable. So I'll print type of date underscore string. And now what I'll do is I'll make use of the date time object. So before that, I'll just print it. So as you can see on the output window, it says class string, which is fine up to now. Now I'll create the date time object. So I'll say date underscore OBJ, which is the date object is equal to now I'll create the date time. I'll create the date time class using the module. And then I'll make use of something called as str p time function. So basically, the str p time method used to create date time objects. So for that, I will say date time dot str p time. And that's it. It will simply take in two arguments. The first argument will be the string and the second argument, the format in which the string is present for that. So what I'll do is first I'll take date underscore str and now the format. So basically any possible type of date that you want to present will be the format specifier of percent lowercase d then for a month as in the whole month without its abbreviation will be percentage capital B and year will be percentage capital Y. It's as simple as that. Now what I will do is I'll simply print the date time object. So I'll say date underscore object and below that I will also print the type of the data. So I'll say print type date object. Okay. Let's run the script and wonderful. We get the required statement. So first is the print statement from the line 102, which says class string. So we've got this method of text, which says 2002304 because the, it's ordered in the method of year, month, date, and it's everything formatted perfectly with these dashes, which was not present right over here. So basically we have converted the string data type to a date time object. And since we haven't specified any information about the time, that is why the time is simply formatted in the terms of zero. Well, we will see how to access the method of the time. So for that, what I will do is I'll put some specifications here. So in the date string, I will say nine colon 15 colon 34. Okay. Now let's see what happens. So basically this is nine hours, 15 minutes and 34 seconds. So we have done all that. And also we need to specify now the format specifiers. So for hours, it is percentage. Then for minutes, it is percent M and another colon and then percent S, which is seconds for seconds as simple as that. And, and let's print this now and check the output. So wonderful. We see now that the time is also present and the data types are also visible on the output screen. So if you ever, if you're figuring out how do I know all these specifiers and how am I able to format them appropriately? Well, the answer is really simple. You can make use of the Python docs present when you, when you install Python from the official website to access that you simply need to go to the search section of your computer and search for something like Python manual. So as soon as I type manual, as soon as I type Python, 
I get a set of apps. So you can see here Python 3.7 manuals. And if I open that, and I've already typed in here date time, so you can search in whatever you want. So I'm searching date time. And if I press enter and I go to the first article, it will simply take me to the date time module and I keep scrolling to the bottom section where I'll find all the format specifiers. For example, percent A is the weekday as a local's full name. Then the percent D that I took was from your day of the month, etc. So you can check out this format specifiers and include them in your code. Well, that's it from this quick video where we've seen how to convert a simple string to a date time module. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like. And if you've got any queries, drop them down in the comment section. And we'll be back soon with more fun and interesting videos.